see, it's often being criticised for presenting far too many old films. So tonight we're going to put things right and present a film which was only made three months ago. And it is J. Arthur Clinker's very exciting The Stamp Collector. <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> no. Well, do you mind if I sit here, then? Richard Self, it's a free country, isn't it? <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? Well, I don't know. I mean, I hardly know you, do I? I mean, I'll have a small port, please. Uh, two ports, please. Well, I don't usually drink for strange women, you know. I mean, one never knows where it might not lead to, does one? <laughs> two ports. Thank you. Thank you. Keep the change. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> oh, just look at that picture over there. Isn't it lovely? Quite nice. Uh, yeah. Do you think it's a constable? <laughs> it looks more like a game warden the way he's dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I don't think it's quite as nice as that picture over there. I think that one's got a lot more to commend with. Yes, and that one is lovely, but it's not as lovely as that one over there. Just look at the brushwork. <laughs> Mind you, I think the brushwork on that one over there is just as nice. Yes, it is. Uh, but it's uh, that one there. It's the detail that's so superb. Yes. <laughs> Mind you, I think the detail on that one over there is even superb. Yes, I think you're right, but cheers. <laughs> cheers, then. Cheers. <laughs> you don't know what I know. <laughs> My room? Where's Teddy? <laughs> this is not my bed. <sighs> Anybody there? Let me out, I say. Let me out. You mustn't keep me locked up. I've got claustrophobia. <laughs> Let me out. Help me, someone. Help me. Oh, well, I won't bother then. Here. <laughs> Why have you brought me here? It's not to have any... to do any... to have a bit... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that, is it? No, I don't believe in that sort of thing. Well, not before marriage, anyway. And I'm none too sure about afterwards, either. <laughs> Why have you brought me here? Well, I collect beautiful things. And you know, you really are terribly handsome. I know. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason to lock me up, is there? Why pick on me? I mean, there's plenty of other fellas just as nice, almost as nice looking as what I am. <laughs> but why me? It's my hobby, you see. What is? Philately. Well, that'll get you nowhere for a start, will it? <laughs> I've got a Siamese tickle. <laughs> What do you want me to do about it? Would you like to see it? No, thank you very much. I do. There you are now. Isn't that beautiful? If you don't mind, I should rather not look. <laughs> oh, like stamp collecting. Now, that's all right. That's quite a nice hobby, that. Yes, but it's not enough. Don't you understand? I'm lonely. I'm so terribly lonely. Well, I mean, don't carry on like that. I mean, you know the old saying. I mean, mate, for every man there's a woman. I mean, you can't complain about that, can you? I'm not complaining about it. I just want to get in on it. <laughs> well, I mean, there's plenty of pebbles on the beach. Then why don't you become a little bolder? <laughs> Look, I tell you what. Look, let's be chums. Look, I tell you what, if we're just chums and you let me go, I'll, I'll go out with you every Tuesday and Thursday. I promise. Honestly, we'll go out together every Tuesday and Thursday. Not enough. 
You mean you want to marry me? Yes. Well, see, that'd spoil everything. I mean, we'd have nowhere to go Tuesdays and Thursdays, wouldn't we? <laughs> Look, are you going to let me go or not? You can't escape from here without the key, and I've got it. If you don't give me that key, I shall come and take it off you by brute force. Will you? Yes, I will. No, I won't. <laughs> ah, but you've forgotten the telephone, haven't you? <laughs> ah, yes. Police, nine. Nine. <laughs> nine. We'll soon see about that. Hello, get me the police, please. Hello, is that the police? I'm being held prisoner in a... Where is this place? <laughs> ah. It's Sloan 2092. Yes, officer. There's a wicked evil woman here. She's holding me hostage. <laughs> no, me hostage. I said she's holding me hostage. <laughs> well, you think that's clever, don't you? But there's more than one way of getting out of here. You've forgotten the window, haven't you, eh? <laughs> yes, you... <laughs> It's a long way down, isn't it? You don't mind, I'd rather not look. I get what, what they call virtuous. Oh, we can't have that, can we? Now look here, you sit down there and relax. You might even get to like it here in time. We might even become more than just friends. <laughs> look, if, if you don't let me go, I'll destroy myself. I should jump out the window, I promise I will. I'll do it. I'm going to jump. Farewell, world! Farewell, mother that bored me. I'm going to jump. Ah! Oh, dear. That poor boy. He jumped out of the window. Just out and at a time like this. With the kitchen on fire. Smoke pouring through the sitting room. Any minute now, the whole apartment is going to be burnt to a cinder. What shall I do? What shall I do? Save the furniture. <laughs> Come out of that wardrobe. Look, why don't you come and sit down and relax? It's much nicer. How can I relax? My mother will be expecting me. I'm supposed to be taking Elsie out tonight. Elsie? Who's Elsie? She's my intended. I mean, we're secretly and unofficially engaged. Well, what has this Elsie got that I haven't got? Well, nothing, honey. She hasn't had it for quite so long. <laughs> now, listen. I can give you all the good things in life. I'm a very rich woman. Yes, I know. It's all right, but you've got money. You're taking advantage of me because I'm poor, aren't you? I mean, I come from a poor family, you know. My parents couldn't even afford to buy me clothes as a child. I couldn't go out anywhere. I had to walk around the house naked till I was 16. And then what happened? They bought me a top hat so I could look out the window. <laughs> Have a piece of cake. No, thank you. I'm not hungry. I mean, I'm the breadwinner in the family. Now, my father won't go to work. He won't get out of bed. And the only exercise he ever gets is sticking his finger into chocolates to find out which ones have the soft centre. <laughs> and don't do that now they put the design on the lid. Just a small piece. Well, just, uh, just a small piece. All right. Yeah. And I mean, my father says all he wants for Christmas is bed socks, a bottle opener, beer and a bucket. I mean, what sort of a nice... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just that right there. Stop there. Oh, That's please. it, right there. That would be lovely. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Well, it's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Would you like some champagne? Yes, I would. You got any fags? Oh, fags! Cigarettes! I forgot them. Oh, whatever made me forget the cigarettes. Look, wait there, wait there. I shan't be very long. Very I'll long. just pop out and get them. She's left the door open. She hasn't locked the door. I can escape. I'll be able to see my little home again before they pull it down. <laughs> to put up a slum. I'll be able to have some of my sister's flaky pastry. It's like eating a wet book. <laughs> And I can see my goldfish again, my goldfish, the only ones in the house who open their mouths without asking for something. <laughs> I should be able to see Elsie again, and her mother, and talk about the wedding, and the little council house we're going to have, and how her mother and father are going to come and live with us. <laughs> and her brother, as soon as he gets out of Borstal. <laughs> what am I talking about? I say, you left the door open! <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, this is a lovely <laughs> 